but it has a lot of elements that make it look nice and tasty to the fish. Here's the fly we're going to tie. It's got the real skin for a back. It's got some cool legs and gills courtesy of hairline dubbing pseudo hackle. So let's figure out how to tie this fly. We've got a barbless check nymph hook. This is the Umqua C300 BL. This is a size 14. Have a black tungsten bead in the hook. Starter thread behind the bead. Wrap back into the bend of the hook. We'll take off our excess thread. Tie in some breathers at the back of the fly. I'm going to use kind of a off-white CDC. You can use other materials here, but I like the way this looks. Once we get that, we just need a short little tuft there. Advance that to the front. Trim off our excess. And we'll take the real skin. And in the pack you get several several different colors. This is the olive green color. And you also get several different widths of each. So you want to size that to the size fly you're tying. We're going to tie that real skin over the back of the hook. It's a nice stretchy material. I've got some monofilament. You use tippet material here. This is monofilament that's been wound on a spool. You can buy it as monofilament thread or you can wrap some old tippet material on a spool and put it on a bobbin yourself. Now, I've got some olive pseudo hackle that will tie in. After we get our ribbing tied in, you're going to need to strip the fibers that run parallel to the edge out. So you just have a hackle, so to speak, of the middle fibers. I've also prepared this by trimming off some of the fibers that give me a nice length to tie in. Tie that along the hook shank. Now, I'll take some dubbing. Use a cream antron dubbing here, the Nature Spirit Emergence. You can also use a caddis green if you want a little brighter underbody. Get a pretty good noodle dubbed on the hook. Dub just up to the bead. Now, take our pseudo hackle, make sure we kind of train it as we start to wrap so that it wants to lay back. You can kind of pull it into each wrap so that it sticks out. Get up to the front, we'll tie it off behind the bead and trim off our excess and save that piece for your next fly. Next we'll kind of just work those legs out and down. Get our ribbing out of the way. We're going to pull our real skin, stretch it, and pull it over the back of the fly. Tie that down just behind the bead. Make sure you get that secured so it's not going anywhere. I sometimes will fold it back and put a couple wraps in front of the material and then stretch it, trim it out. Now we can take 
fluff up those gills and legs one more time. And we can wrap our ribbing. Kind of weave it through so you don't crush down those legs and gills that you worked so hard to get. As you work to the front, you can spread those ribs out a little bit more so they're not as close together. And when you get up behind the bead, we'll tie off the mono thread. Make sure you got it securely tied off. do whip finish just three turns trim that off now work your legs out and we'll take a sharpie black sharpie just tint in a few of the segments to give us a wing case. And there you have a finished fly. You can put a little head cement on your thread wraps if you like. But it gives a nice, realistic looking Hydropsyche caddis larva without too much effort. That real skin on the back gives a nice kind of chewy look to it. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter and we just finished tying the High Water Hydro.